Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Pineapple on PC here and today we're doing something else than World Painter, what I usually do. Basically, I've been working with some styles, you know, I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition. One of the first cutscenes, you see these houses with very low roofs and they inspired me. So, first, uh, this is the first house that I made. Do not pay attention to that one, it's one of our new build team members. Uh, like a grass roof. This might not sound realistic at the first part, but those who know a lot about the Middle Ages probably know that this is actually realistic. Most of the houses in the separate environments in the Middle Ages had such roofs. Not lying, but uh, when the industrialization came to its growth, Less and less of these houses were made because they were labor intensive. Now, let's take a look inside of it. As you see, this is quite atmospheric since it's a very, very small house. And why can I close it? Yeah. Okay, so chest, there's a crafting tables, some booze. But the annoying part of this house is that you can easily drop into this cobblestone slot, which is really, really annoying. Well, my little flower pot, little shelves, and a bed. That was basically it. It also has, like, a way out of here, but I didn't do that because I was too lazy. Now, let's take a look at the other house. This one looks a lot different, right? Because first, it does not have the grass roof which that one was known for, but this one just has a normal roof, and it has shutters, where it has little lofts around here. You know, you can close them when it's rain, and they kind of take all the smoke that comes out of this fire, and they just look very, very cool when you stand inside the house. This one is a bit more rustic, and it's a bit less hobbity than that one. This one also doesn't have a chimney because the lofts actually act like a chimney. It also made like a little pine tree. I don't know what it's called, but I, we have those in the These are actually pine trees, but I gave them dark oak leaves because I love that. So we have a little washing line. It does not really follow physics. Does it? Yeah, it, it goes the exact opposite way where it should go. This one even has a basement, and also I'm going to put my music down for a bit, so you guys won't be annoyed that much by all the fire cracking sounds. The inside of this one is a lot more interesting, but it's a less dark since there are lofts. Basically, a chain. You see, this is a one person's house. I shouldn't come inside these herbs. Here's where you would eat and drink. You know, some booze, crafting table, probably like a cutting table, and then the stuff would be inside of here, and knives, flag. This is where you cook shit you know, on, like, um, here's some raw meat, and there's some fish, and that's some water, so it'd probably be soup or something. Means you need extra plates, but this is kind of like a wood pile that I don't a pressure plate. Trapdoor going for. How well, it will work is basically you do this, you grab a bit of wood, and this will basically hold it during earthquakes. A bit more flag. And the thing you notice is this is a lot more atmospheric since I've done shelves and actual chests. And here are little shelves in the walls. Could have done bookshelves also. Flower pots everywhere, and also I've covered a lot of this stair with. Just fur, this fur laying on the ground, which also makes it a lot more atmospheric. Notice that I use a lot of orange tulips. I'm Dutch, so I don't understand your Dutch. Little map, and we go outside, and oh, you fucking kidding me? I forgot to place the anvil. Let's place the anvil for a second. So this would be where he uh, kind of smith his own tools. A little cottage industry and flower pots, flower pots here. Yeah, the smelting fire. 
which would not be very realistic since an open fire near a lot of wood, but uh, I don't care a lot about that. Basement here. Um, this grass is from the place that, like, the little smithery side, I could not um, replace it. So, shelves, hay, chests, definitely a great, great thing, and some would just join, so I'm at f one right now. It surprised me that I haven't done it always in the hill, little uh, berry bushes. Berry bushes, because berry bushes are awesome. And so that was basically it. Um, oh god, someone's talking to me. Don't do that, don't do that. The wood pile, cauldron, my house. This is it right there. This is my property. What are you doing? Stop that. Flower pots. Here's the roof again, as I've shown you, with, you know, these little things, these roof tiles. And I really love this design above that one since it's a little less hobbity and it is a lot more actual human and a bit more fancy. Only if I were to be myself, if I were to actually better this, I would do bushes or something around here because, you know, this is kind of empty, I think it's supposed to be, but it's a bit too empty for me. But those are just um, a few concepts that I have thought of for houses. You will probably see a lot more on this, and yes, I have a server. So you'll probably also see a lot more about the server and the build team that I have. And of course, some more about the painter, but just leave in the comments below what you want to see next. You want to see more of these house videos, you want to see more about the painter, you want to see show arounds. Just tell me. So. To end this video, I just say goodbye to everyone, have a good day, and good luck building!